Okay friends, so now we're gonna talk about the comparison operators in Python. We use the comparison operators in order to compare two values and return true or false based on the results. And here we have many nice operators like the equal to, where you have two equals, and then the not equal, we have less than, less than or equal, and the opposite, the greater than, greater than or equal. So they are very simple, but now let's understand exactly what do we mean with the comparison operators. So now how we do it, usually we have two values and in between we put the comparison operator and this is like a question and the result of this gonna be either true or false yes or no so now for example we have two values three and two and if you put operator between them the greater than and with that we are asking is three greater than two so python gonna return the boolean value true now of course those are direct values numbers but you could go and compare not only values you could compare as well variables like for example if you have a variable x and you assign for it like a value five you could compare now the variable with a value and you put in between them the operator for example less and with that we are asking the question is x less than 2 so of course python gonna go and get the value 5 and compare it with a 2 well 5 is not less than 2 that's why python gonna answer for this question as false so as you can see for those questions there is only true and false there is nothing like in between and what else we could put in this equation is expressions like for example 2 minus 1 this is an expression and you can and compare it to the value 2 and put in between for example not equal so we are asking is 2 minus 1 not equal to 2 well that is true because 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 is not equal to 2 and python gonna say yes that's correct and what else we could put in this equation is that we could use function like for example we could use the built-in function length and we could say okay is the length of high is equal to 3 well python gonna go first and execute the function and we will get 2 and then it's gonna go and compare is 2 equal to 3 well, the answer for that is false. So as you can see, you can use anything as long as it return a value. And then you can go and compare two values using the comparison operators. And this is going to form something called condition or let's say a question. And the answer for those questions is always true or false. So this is very simple. This is how it works. OK, so now let's go and try a few operators. Like, for example, you can say 10 is equal to 10. So here you have to go and use two equals. If you go and execute it, you will get true. But now if you go and use, for example, the not equal operator between them and execute it, you will get false because 10 is equal to 10. Now another one, we can go and check whether the value is greater than another value. So if you go and execute it, you will get true. 7 is bigger than 3. And the next one, whether the 7 is larger or equal to another 7. If they are equal like this, it's going to be fine. And even if it is like smaller, it's going to be as well fine. You will get true. So here we have like two operators in one. Now the opposite going to be is three smaller than seven. Well, you will get true. Or you say is three smaller or equal to seven. So it's again, we are checking two things less and equal. If you go and execute it, you will get true. And as well, if you have it like a seven, it's going to be fine because seven is equal to seven. So again, here we have two things, either smaller or equal. Okay, so now there is like few things I want you to know about the comparison operators is that you can go as well and compare characters like for example is a smaller than b so if you go and execute it you will get true so here python is comparing the string values alphabetically and there is one more thing for example if you are comparing strings like this so is a equal to b well it's false well python here is comparing the strings alphabetically and what is very famous we can check the values using the equal so is a equal to b well false and there is one more thing python is case sensitive so this will not be as well accepted it's going to be false so a lower a is not equal to an upper a so that means not only numbers you can go and check as well string values and there is like one mistake that many begin do is that they don't use the double equal so they make it like this you will get an error because the one equal is for assignment as we learned before we can do it like this so we want to assign for the variable x a value like for example a so the one equal is used to do assignment for the variables but the two equals is used to check 
whether the two values are equal or not. Now there is like something cool in Python, we call it the chain comparison. So, so far what we have learned, we could do like comparison operator between two values, right? So this is gonna give you true. But now what we can do, we can go and make a chain. Like we can go and put a third value, like six, and then put an comparison operator between the four and six. So with that, we are doing like chain comparison. So now if you go and execute it, you will get true. And now how Python did execute this. So it's gonna go and execute the chain from the left moving to the right. So first it's gonna go and execute this part. Now Python gonna check, okay, is one smaller than four? Well, it is true. Then it's gonna go and check the second part is four smaller than six well this is as well true and now since everything is true you will get in the output true but now for example if you have here like five and you execute it it will gonna be false because the first part is not true it is false and it is not enough to have like only one part as true you need everything to be true in order to get in the output true and now think of this if you know sql this is like the between operator so we are actually checking whether this value between two ranges so let's have a nice Nice example let's say that we want to check whether the age between 18 and 30 so this sounds like a scale of course let's go and create a variable called age and we have the value 20 so now we're gonna build it like this first we have to check whether the age is higher or equal to 18 so we start with the first boundary and we say 18 is less or equal to the age the value that we are checking and at the same time the age should be smaller or equal to 30 so as you can see we are checking a value in between two other values and now if you go and print it you will get true so yes 20 is between 18 and 30 and now if you go to one of the boundaries like 18 it's gonna be fine because here we have greater or equal but now if you jump outside the boundary like for example the 35 you will get false because it is greater than 30 so this part is false and this part is true so this is how we do between or let's say chain comparison and of course you can go and add as much comparison as you want but usually we don't use more than like three values okay so that's all about the comparison operators they are very famous and you're gonna end up using them like almost everywhere and now in the next one we're gonna start talking about the logical operators